This is the second movie by Riley Stearns, whose first movie, Fault, I haven't seen. But after seeing this one, I'm definitely interested because I quite enjoyed this. It's essentially a sort of satirical comedy about a socially awkward accountant. Played to perfection by Jesse Eisenberg, who through a series of events ends up taking karate classes. And the movie is, I believe, set in the 90s and sort of pokes fun at the whole martial arts movement of that era. You know, how terrible movies inspired a lot of people to get into different sort of martial arts. And how studios popped up on every corner and weren't necessarily managed the way they should have. Or perhaps not run by the most reputable or credible people. And the movie also kind of gets into the more cultish and more ridiculous aspects of that whole scene as well. But that's really just scratching the surface with this one. Because the focus here is really on this one guy and his journey, but also some other shenanigans. I mean, this one takes a few interesting turns along the way. It goes down some unexpected paths and even managed to throw in a twist I didn't see coming. And one I definitely did see coming. And it does this all with this very dry, deadpan sense of humor. The type of humor I tend to enjoy, and I really liked it here as well. And well, I would go as far as to call this a pretty funny movie overall. Because it's pretty consistent with its tone and delivery of the comedy. It never really veers off from that for very long at all, and just keeps the funny stuff coming at a very steady pace. And that steadiness applies to the overall pacing of the movie as well. Because the plot and the story too just move along at a very steady pace. It never really picks up or slows down very much, and it's not a particularly fast-paced movie either. But at the same time, it didn't really feel like it ever dragged. And time went by fairly effortlessly while watching it too. It didn't feel too long or drawn out. And you know, I think the cast here did a really solid job as well. As I said, Jesse Eisenberg fit the role perfectly, but Alessandro Nivola as uh, the sensei was pretty great as well. He gets to have a lot of fun with the role, and he delivered a very balanced performance. With a lot of subtlety too, and I realized I don't think I've ever given him the respect he deserves as an actor before. Because he's actually been in a ton of movies I've really enjoyed over the years. And he's always delivered very dependable performances. But for some reason he's never really managed to stand out very much to me. But here I think he shines and did a really stellar job with this character. However, even Imogen Poots in a slightly smaller role as one of the instructors was really good too. She managed to get me to care about that character too, even though she didn't really get that much screen time. But those three sort of formed a central trio here, and yeah, I think they worked really well together. Other than that though, I'm not really sure what to say about this one. It's a very competently made movie, with solid writing, and that deadpan tone is uh, handled pretty much perfectly. The humor also worked well enough at least for me, and the story was intriguing and entertaining. With some interesting twists and turns that I hadn't necessarily expected. And the performances were really good all around, so yeah, overall a very solid movie. And I'm struggling to find very much to complain about, to be honest. Because it set out to do something very specific, and it more or less did it. So going forward, Riley Stearns is definitely a filmmaker I'm gonna keep an eye on. However, would I recommend this one? Sure, especially if you enjoy sort of dark and satirical humor. So maybe you should check it out, or maybe don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.